Now, suppose we were asked to expand something like 2 minus 3x to the power 4 using the binomial expansion. Now, the binomial expansion formula, which I've got up here, only works off expressions of the form 1 plus x to the power n. And you can see that what we've got here is not of that particular format. The x will be replaced with minus 3x, but the first term must be a 1, and what we've got here is a 2. So the purpose of this tutorial is to show you how we get around this problem. What we do is we pull out a 2 in front of a bracket. And this bracket, when multiplied by 2, has got to give us 2 minus 3x. So that would mean I'd need a 1 there, so that 2 times 1 is the 2. And in order to get minus 3x, I would need to multiply the 2 by minus 3x over 2. And then don't forget the whole of this is to the power 4. So I need to write all of this in a square bracket and it's all raised to the power 4. Now, when you have a product, okay, inside a bracket all raised to a particular power, in this case 4, this is exactly the same as each part of the product raised to the power, and in this case it would be 2 to the power 4 times 1 minus 3 over 2 x all to the power 4. Now, what have I got? I've got basically 1 minus an x term raised to a power. So, as far as this goes, I can now use the binomial expansion formula. What I'm going to do, though, is just turn 2 to the 4 into 16, and then start a square bracket, and then expand 1 minus 3x over 2 to the power 4 in the usual way. So, that's going to be 1 plus n, n being 4, times the x term, which is minus 3 over 2x. Then it's going to be plus n times n minus 1, so that's going to be 3, all over 2 factorial, so that's 2 times 1, times the x term, all squared, so the x term is minus 3 over 2x, don't forget to put it always in brackets, and it's squared. Then we have the next term, which will be n, which is 4, times n minus 1, so that's 3, times n minus 2, that's 2, all over 3 factorial, or simply 3 times 2 times 1. And then it's the x term, which is minus 3 over 2, x, all cubed. Now I'm running out of room here, so what I'll do is I'll just put it down here for the next term, that's plus, and the next term will be n times n minus 1, so that's 3, times n minus 2, so that's 2, times n minus 3, so that'd be 1, all over 4 factorial, that's 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And then multiply by the x term, minus 3 over 2x in this case, all to the power 4. And don't forget, this will be now the end of the expansion, because the next term would be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 0, and that would be 0. So there'd be no other terms, so we just complete the square bracket there. All we need to do now is just simply tidy up. So I'll put the 16 there, and we'll tidy up the square bracket. So the first term is 1, and then multiplying out the second term gives minus 6x. You can check these on a calculator, OK? Don't forget, when you get to this term here, you've got minus 3x over 2, all squared, so that's going to be plus 9 over 4x squared. Multiply it with 4 times 3 over 2, and you should find that you get 27x squared over 2. And notice how the signs are oscillating, minus plus. So you can expect the next one to be a minus. Just check, though, you'll see that this term here, the minus 3 over 2x, 
all cubed will be minus, so it will be a minus term. If you work this one out, you can cancel. You can cancel the 3, 2, 1 with the 3, 2 there. Saves you a bit of work, okay? Or do it on your calculator. But when you work that one out, you'll find that you get minus 27x cubed over 2. Lastly, you can see in the last term, all of this cancels out with all of this. Okay, so you don't have to work that out. And you've just got minus 3 over 2x all to the power 4, which is going to be a positive term. And again, you can expect that, minus plus, minus plus, okay. Working out the last term will give you 81 over 16x to the power 4. Okay, so just uh, put a curved bracket there. And then all I need to do now is simply multi -through, multiply through by the 16. And if we do that, you just get 16 times 1 is 16, and then minus 96x plus 216x squared, and then minus 216 again, x cubed, and then plus 81x to the power 4. And there you have your expansion. So that's how you handle values which haven't got a 1 at the front here. Just simply pull that number out to the front of your bracket. Don't forget to say that all of this is to your power. And then that power is used on each of the parts here. Then simply expand your bracket. OK, so hopefully you can follow that and use this as an example on any of the other ones that you might do that are similar to this.